Tiffany Dover wants the world to know one thing. My name is Tiffany Dover. Tiffany Dover is dead. My message is simple. It is that I am alive. I'm well. That's it. I hope they believe it. I hope they believe it. I'm ready to just put my story out there, own my story. That story begins in 2020. Tiffany was working as a nurse manager at CHI Memorial Hospital in Chattanooga, putting in grueling hours on a COVID unit. When vaccines arrived that December, Tiffany became one of the first people at her hospital to get the shot. Then she stood up to answer questions. I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. I ended up passing out. Dover tells us she has a medical condition that can sometimes cause her to faint. So I had a syncopal episode. It just, you know, hit me all of a sudden. I have a history of having an overactive um, vagal response. If I have pain from anything, hangnail or if I stub my toe, I can just pass out. And this is, you know, I have passed out probably six times in the past six weeks. You know, I, it's common for me. Yeah, no reason to suspect that that's due to the vaccine whatsoever. I feel fine now. In that moment, a conspiracy theory was born. People thought that I was dead. Ancestry has many paths to discovering your story. Ancestry.com. from Higdon, Alabama. As far as my personal life, I am married. I have two um, babies. I have a little girl and I have a little boy. I love Memorial Hospital. It's a wonderful hospital. I hope they believe it. Why not come out and dispel these rumors? Initially, that was exactly what I wanted to do. And unfortunately, I was told that that absolutely would not happen. It would be Irrecoverable damage is what I was told. Instead, the hospital put out this video, intending to show she was alive. 
But the so-called Tiffany truthers picked it apart and used it as fuel. thought that I was an actress paid to do this, that I was paid off by Big Farm. CHI Memorial has repeatedly denied knowledge of any directive asking Tiffany not to speak or post, including in an interview for our podcast. I'm not aware of anything that asked Tiffany not to respond. The hospital recently telling NBC News, we have no new information. Anti-vaxxers and the movement are sort of using you as their poster girl. It's hard to think that you are being used to detour somebody from getting the vaccine. And that, that was really hard for me to cope with. Are you saying you blamed yourself? Yes, absolutely. I wish that we would have used it as a platform to speak out on the fact that people do pass out after getting shots, vaccines, but that is not a reason to not proceed with getting them. There will be people who say, we don't believe you. What then? I put it out there that I'm alive. They have to choose whether they believe that or not. Hi everyone. Hey guys. Hey guys. My name is Tiffany Dover. I am 25 years old. I am from Higdon, Alabama. I graduated Northeast Community College in 2012. And ever since then, I've been at Memorial Hospital. So I know it's been a really long time and I really don't even know where to begin, but I guess I could start with I'm Alive. Uh, I'm Alive and I have a new episode of the podcast, Tiffany Dover is Dead, coming up tonight. I love Memorial Hospital. It's a wonderful hospital. Um, I've had the pleasure of working on Two South the past three years and um, we are a med surge telefloor. We get a variety of patients and I definitely feel it's been a great foundation for my nursing. Um, but actually the next month I will be moving to the CCU. So I'm so excited to start this new adventure. I hope that it will help to clear up a lot of the questions that you guys have. And then tomorrow I will be happy to clear up any questions that did not get answered in the podcast. And yeah, I think that's where we'll start. So. So I'm spending my Friday night with John. We will be talking all things healthcare, and then he will be sharing it on his podcast.